Oh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video is brought to you by newqbr.com. That's our website. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to manually enter business credit card transactions in uh, QuickBooks Online register. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks Online. This is QuickBooks Online, and uh, uh, this one is a demo file. I don't have too many. I don't have any transaction at all on this one. Okay, so you have a uh, uh, couple of ways to enter uh, transactions in, in register. This is for credit card transactions or bank transactions. Uh, okay, so nor normally you go to uh, go to banking and you connect your account. And let's say you don't want to connect uh, your bank account. You you know you just want to download the uh, bank statement in certain format. Uh, and then upload it back in here okay and the third way is you don't want to do either of these two and you just want to manually enter uh, credit card transactions uh, in QuickBooks register okay so that's the focus of this video the third one manually enter credit card transactions in in QuickBooks online register okay so the first thing you want to do is uh, you go to accounting and chart of accounts you need to create a credit card account okay oh, so go to chart of accounts and here's new on this one I don't have any credit card accounts so I'm going to show you how to cre create credit card accounts new right there okay and account type you want to select is credit card is right here so it's credit card so this is the account you want to track so you know select account type okay the detail type they automatically uh, pick credit card is the only one they have and for the name you can say uh, this is a chase credit card or whatever okay and business name you can uh, copy and uh, paste it and normally and you want to write like a last four digit you know a credit card number like this uh, so this will this will be helpful for your own record if you have uh, one or multiple credit cards okay and uh, at this point let's say you just got this credit card there is no balance in here so if there's a balance uh, then you just you can just enter it in here uh, you know the balance and uh, uh, this in this case it does say there's no balance it's a new credit card save and close okay so if you don't want to enter balance, you can enter as transactions as well. Uh, okay, so now I have a credit card transaction, credit card uh, in here. Let's see here, Chase credit card. Okay, so all you have to do now at this point, you click the view register. Okay, as you can see, there's no balance in here, right? Okay, and. Uh, this one has class location. Uh, that this one is a QuickBooks uh, uh, Plus plan. Let's say you don't have a Plus plan. I'm gonna just turn this up, and that way uh, you won't see the class location thing. Okay, so basically this is this is the credit card register. Okay, so the credit card register, if you have this uh, one item transaction, let's say you bought uh, $100 worth of uh, something, it goes to just one account category, then you can use credit card uh, uh, register directly in here. But if you have to split, split transaction, let's say you bought $200, one, uh, one goes to one account, uh, the other one goes to uh, another account then uh, you can't do it in credit card register uh, I'll show you how to do that as well okay so all we have to do is the see here add credit card expenses right here credit card expense just select that one okay and let's say the date is uh, uh, January 2nd and if you want from your state bank statement if you want you can put the uh, uh, reference number 
and then you have to s select pay. Pay means a vendor. You know, let's say you buy it from Home Depot. Home Depot is a vendor. Let's say you buy it from Best Buy. Best Buy is a vendor. You buy it from Costco. Costco is a vendor. All right, just select uh, one in here. All right, I'm just going to, I don't have any in here. So let's say Home Depot. Okay. And now, memo is, you, you know, you buy some, you bought some supplies, let's say, or parts. Supplies, let's say supplies. Okay. And then the, the charge is, let's say, you bought $200 worth of something. And account, you can select a category in here, uh, whatever account you want. Let's say job materials. Okay. And uh, just, uh, Okay, just save this. So now in your register, it's already showing you owe the credit card company $200. Right? Let's try another one here. Okay. Let's say, in this case, you went to uh, uh, Office Depot. So I just if we bought some supply uh, stationery and stuff. Okay. You can just type it in here. See if there is a uh, supplies office office supplies account. Yeah. So there's office expenses. Let's just say I want to add. Uh, supplies office office uh, supplies so I select is the account is expenses and hopefully they have some supplies stuff here supplies not you don't want to use that one let's just say I want to use uh, I just want to use this if you can't find anything on the list you can just select this uh, general administrative expenses. So uh, let's just say I want to call this office expenses, office supplies. Okay, I got it, and I just save it. As you can see here now, you owe a credit card company $300, $300. Okay, and now uh, let's do another one. Let's see what else in here. Uh, okay, so now now you have a split transaction. You, know? you bought something uh, and you want to categorize to different accounts. Okay, so you can't do it here. What you need to do is go to the plus sign in here. Plus sign in here on top here. Just click that one, and under vendors, just select expense. Okay. Let's say you went to uh, Best Buy on this one. Add a new one. Okay, so the payment matter is a credit card and category detail so this is where you select uh, let's say one is computer I don't have computer either okay so I'll select computer computer internet expense okay so normally you will have uh, uh, all, uh, all these accounts in your chart of accounts, and if not, then you can always add it, just like I'm doing it now, and you can put the description in here. So the amount is, uh, let's say, uh, $450 for this one item, and you bought some supplies as well. All right, I got office supplies. Let's say this one is uh, $75. Okay, so now the total is $525. And so this is called split. You, the total bill was uh, $525, but you know you want to categorize it to, to different accounts. 
save and close okay so as you can see here you will see the vendor but you will just see the split you won't see the uh, you just have to do it right here the split you will see uh, 450 is for the computer related expense and 75 boxes uh, for office supplies okay just just split you see split in here just hover 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 over this and you will see the split right there okay so now uh, you owe eight hundred twenty-five dollars to this credit card company. Okay, now you want to make payment. All right, uh, and you decided. Well, I have uh, my my, uh, my checking account, and I just want to uh, make payment online and just transfer it. Okay, and just go to plus sign again. You can do it here too, but uh, uh, you can just use it this way. Uh, you can plus sign in here. As you can see here it says transfer under other select transfer okay and let's say you want to transfer from uh, your uh, chase checking account or whatever checking account you have and you want to transfer funds to your credit card account so credit card chase credit cards right here and it will show you all uh, the balance is 825 so at this point you can select 10 bucks minimum payment or you want to make the full payment 825 dollars all right so in this case i want to make uh, Eight hundred twenty-five dollars uh, transfer. So this is basically manual transfer in uh, to to record a transaction in uh, uh, in QuickBooks. It has nothing to do with uh, you. You know, you're actually transferring from your bank account. To do that, you have to do it from your own bank account. To do that, so this is just an, uh, in QuickBooks register. Okay, so you can put the transaction in here. So January uh, credit card payment. Okay, right here. Save and close. So it's right here. Now the balance is zero, right? There's nothing in there. Okay. So the balance is zero. Okay. So now, uh, what up? What about? Let's say you need to return this item. This hundred dollars you don't need this okay and you know credit card statement uh, it will show as a uh, uh, negative to your credit card account right and in, in that case you just go to in here see here CC credit okay so CC credit select CC credit and let's say this is the uh, office depot one and they may have a different uh, reference number but you can use the same reference number this is related to this account and the pay is still the same office depot right okay and the memo is to say return and in this case it's hundred dollars okay so this hundred dollars it goes back to your credit card account and account you want to select the same account office supply you, you when you bought it you use office supply the account when you return just use the same account office supply right here okay and then save it so now they owe you a hundred dollars so you, you in, in your credit card statement uh, you, you'll see you know uh, credit card company they owe you a hundred bucks and uh, next time you can buy another another item you know let's use credit card expenses and you can do transport in here too, but uh, you can. It's easier to do it from here. It's pretty clear. See, transfer right here from is your bank account, right? And transfer to credit card account and transfer amount. It'll show you the balance too. Okay, so this is how it works. And once it's done, then you can always reconcile. Uh, this with your your uh, credit card statement so you want to do it like uh, once a month it doesn't matter what what time you do it normally you want to do it once you receive your credit card statement uh, or when you when you can see a uh, credit card statement in, uh, in your in, in your bank account okay so that's it that's as you can see it's pretty fairly easy to do it you know you can just use the credit card register for single transaction and if you need to split it, just go to plus and select expense. 
see the expense in here like this and make sure to select the payment account you know normally you may have it in here then it will go to wrong account so make sure if you are dealing with the credit card account select chess credit card and then you split if you need to split it it's pretty straightforward it's a date in here and then expense uh, payment method is always credit card of course okay. okay so it's fairly easy all right thank you for watching this video and uh, if you like this video uh, you know make sure to subscribe our channels we have two channels youtube.com or rush slash pp controller this this one you, you have you'll see uh QuickBook, quickbooks desktop as well as quickbooks online and the other one other one you're watching is youtube.com or rush slash quickbooks qbo on this one it's uh all uh, quickbooks online video uh, tutorials thank you again bye